Now I'm going to show you in this video how to install the Origin UI mod, which is the user interface mod that I use that you see in my videos that has the you know temperature and your hunger and your stamina, all that stuff down here in the corner. So you navigate over to this URL here and you'll get this page and this is you know what it looks like basically scroll down and then you want to download this throw it into your wherever you want to uh, I'll just I'm gonna save this to my desktop and you download that then you open it up and uncompress and uncompress it. I use WinRAR. And uh, so this is what you get. You get this folder. You then want to open up your um, C program file, Steam, Steam apps, common, seven days to die, data directory. In the directory you'll see a folder called config. Left click on that and do a control C and then a control V and that makes a copy. So if you screw up you can restore the, restore it to the way it was. Okay, Then go into the config directory and you'll see these thingies. And then you got this directory here. Now you just take this uh, and just drag it in here and my hard drive just took a moment to do that and then you take this and you drag this in here and uh, you just um, uh, if it's if you you know you just replace it okay you then have install it now what I like to do in addition to that is I go to entity groups left click on that control C control V that way if you make a mistake you can always change it right and then I uh, and then I right click edit with notepad plus plus you can edit it with notepad as well if you don't have notepad plus plus and it went over onto my second monitor so I'm dragging it over here and I come down here and this is totally optional and doesn't really have anything to do with the user interface group but I like to do this and I scroll down to approximately line 178 and I find the zombie dog group and I change it usually says zombie dog here. I change it to zombie nurse. This prevents me from having the dog horde on the fifth day. I get a nurse horde instead. Then control S to save. And of course editing this file is totally optional. You can leave it totally alone and you'll get your dog horde as normal. Then you can just load your seven days to die. <laughs> and now you can see on the lower left that I have my temperature, I have my uh, drink and hunger bars, I have my stamina and my health, and the top left you'll see it tells me the day, the time, the temperature, of the world where I'm at and my elevation. So I hope that you uh, that this video has helped you. I hope you enjoy the user interface uh, origin inter user interface and uh, please give me a thumbs up comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And I have Seven days.
lives to die Seven days to die Seven days to die Seven days to die Seven days to die